If you're planning on becoming a top actuarial candidate, then you already know it's inevitable that you'll be able to get an actuarial job. It's just a matter of time. But have you ever considered the fact that you are going to be qualified for hundreds of entry level actuarial jobs? That means that you are going to be able to decide on the companies that you want to work for. Unlike so many aspiring actuaries that just cross their fingers and apply to every single position they can find and hope that just one of them gives them a chance, that's not going to be the situation for you. However, However, to make this work, you have to start connecting with these companies right now. So in this video, you're going to learn what to do, why it works, and how to choose those companies that you really want to work for. I'm Bria, Associate of the Society of Actuaries and leader of the Actuary Accelerator community. Now you might be wondering, why do you need to start connecting with these companies now, even if you're going to start looking for jobs, maybe months or maybe up to a year into the future? Well, it's because the more interactions, the more touch points, the more connections you have with every company that you want to work for, well, it just increases your chances of getting an actuarial job there. It's sort of the same idea as Apple uses to market their products to you. Their brand shows up everywhere. You will see it at a hockey game. You'll see it on a billboard as you're driving down the freeway. You'll see it on a commercial during the Super Bowl. You'll see it on someone's shirt walking down the street. And that's because they know that every single time you see that logo, you are going to remember them. You're going to think about them. They're going to become a little bit more familiar to you. Their brand becomes a little more ingrained in your mind and it's a little bit more likely that you might just go and buy one of their products. Well, the same applies here. The more times you get seen by an employer that you want to work for, the higher your chances are of actually getting a job at that company. So if you are planning to become a top actuarial candidate, then you are going to be eligible for so many jobs in the future. There are going to be hundreds of jobs that you have the qualifications for. So that means that you're probably not going to be able to engage and interact with hundreds of different employers all around the world just so that you can get a job later. So that means that you have to narrow it down to just five or 10 different companies that you really truly want to work with. And those are the ones that you should pursue and use this strategy on. Does that make sense? So if you're going to start implementing this strategy now, you're probably wondering, what's it look like? How do you do this? How do you decide which employers to pursue? Well, essentially the best way to do this is to connect with these companies on all the social media platforms. That means on LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all of them. You wanna be connected with them on every single platform. And you even wanna consider connecting professionally with many of the people that work there too. From there on out, engage with them. Write insightful comments comments whenever they post something. Include them in your conversations on social media platforms. You can like and share their content. Be helpful to the people that you've connected with from those companies. Compliment them. These things don't take long, but they will go a long way and they don't go unnoticed. By the way, it would be a huge compliment to me if you would give this video a thumbs up so that it can spread to more aspiring actuaries. Thank you so much. You know Apple and you have a connection with Apple because over time they have created tons and tons of touch points with you over years. And each time you see that logo, you get a little bit more familiar with them. You trust them just a little bit more. You consider possibly buying one of their products just a little bit more, even though you're not subconsciously thinking about it, it's happening every single time. And that same thing can work for you in this situation. Every single time they see your name, they see that you've commented, they see that you've shared their post, they see that you've talked to an employee or connected with an employee at their company. All of those are going to combine later down the road, when you do start looking for a job, they will recognize you. And as a cherry on top, not only is this going to help you get recognized, but it's also going to allow you to keep up to date on the things that these companies are doing, how they're interacting with the world, the positive impacts that they're making and all that sort of stuff. Because when you're following them on social media, that's the kind of stuff that they're going to be posting. And as a second cherry on top, you might also be able to bypass the typical application process that most applicants will have to go through because because if you have connections at that company, they may be able to get you into the interview process without even having to apply through the website. So now the question is, how do you decide on which employers to pursue? How are you going to narrow it down from hundreds of employers that might be around you just down to five or 10 different ones that you really want to work for, the ones that you're really going to dedicate your time to? So 
here are some things to think about. One of them is the student program that they have. So when I say student program, I say student because most actuarial employers are going to consider anyone that isn't fully qualified to be a student. So it's someone that's still taking exams. So a student program is a program that many actuarial employers do offer that will pay for exam fees, maybe for study materials. It might allow you to get paid time off to study. You might get exam raises or bonuses whenever you pass, and it might even include a rotation program where you'll be able to try out different actuarial positions within the company to get a broader idea of what it's like working in different actuarial positions all throughout the company. And that really helps to give you a better understanding of how insurance works and how the business works overall. You also want to take into consideration the line of business. So there's PNC, there's life insurance, there's pension, there's risk management, there's investments. So if any of these types of work particularly interest you, then you'll want to make sure that the companies you are pursuing are ones that actually have these types of insurance or positions available. You also want to look at the type of work that you'd be doing. Is it traditional actuarial work? Would it be non-traditional actuarial work? Is it maybe a consulting position where you'll get a lot of money but you'll also have to work long hours? You want to know about what type of work you're going to be doing so that you can target the companies that align with your goal in your actuarial career. You also want to think about things like location. Where do you want to actually settle down and have a job? Is it where you are right now or do you want to move across the country? Do you want to move to another country? And those kinds of things are going to help you narrow down the companies that you're going to focus on. Also think about things like company culture and how they treat their employees. The employer that I worked for right after graduation was really well known for being a great place to work. They actually had several awards for being top employers in my area. So that was something that really helped ensure me that I was going to like the culture and it was a great working environment there. They also had a ping pong table where employees could play ping pong throughout the day. They had bingo games going on sometimes and there was also a lot of fundraising and stuff like that. Their values are also something that you'll want to consider. For the company that I worked for after graduation, they did a lot of volunteer work. They would actually pay their employees to go out and volunteer in the community because it was important to them that they gave back to the community that their offices were in. You also want to look at how well they pay. There are some companies companies that have a bad reputation, not going to say any names, for paying low salaries and not really treating their actuarial employees very well. You also want to look at growth and advancement opportunities, training opportunities, and you also want to pay attention to the exam requirements. What are they going to expect from you in terms of exams in the future? How quickly are you going to have to pass exams? Do you have to pass exams? This is all stuff to take into consideration when you're choosing these companies because as a top candidate, you are going to be eligible for a lot of different jobs and it's important that you narrow down your focus because ultimately you are the one that's going to be working there and you have to choose the employer just like the employer chooses you. You're probably wondering how do you learn all this about the company so that you can narrow it down and the answer is really simple. You can go onto their social media platforms and a lot of the stuff that they post there is going to be stuff that talks about their values. You're probably going to learn a little bit about what it's like to work there. You're going to learn how they're making an impact in the world. You can also find this information on their website a lot of the time. So social media and website are a great place to check. But the best place to go is to the people that actually work there. The people that work there are the ones that are really going to be able to give you all the nitty gritty details and really help you figure out whether this is the company that you want to work for. And this could be a great reason to connect with other people that work at the company. All you have to do is say that you are someone that is in the process of becoming an actuary and that you think their company might be a great place for you to work and you really want to learn more about it because of this, this, and this. That's all you have to say. Just keep a professional, stay kind, and I'm sure many of them will actually give you 10, 15 minutes of their day just to talk about the company so that you can learn whether it is a good organization for you to be involved in or not. So now that leads us to our question of the week. Is company culture or salary more important to you? I'm really curious about this one, so let me know down below in the comments, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.